So let's analyze this question. What is sum of all the digits which appear in all the integers from 10 to 100? So you have list of integers starting from 10 until 100. What I need to do is I need to find sum of all the digits you can see in this list. That's it. That's a question. So again, I'm saying this is not an easy question because there are higher chances that you make a, a mistakes while you're calculating it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to form a list of numbers here, right? So starting from 10, so you have 10, 11, 12 goes on like that until 19. I'm just separating it. So this is the first set. Then starting from 20, you have 21, 22 goes on like that till 29. Similarly, you have 30, 31 until 39. Similarly, it will continue from 90, 91, 92 goes on the, until 99. And one more last uh, number is 100 from 10 to 100. So both 10 and 100 are also included. So I need to find the sum of all the digits that you can see in the list. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is. It's, it's not a practical idea to add all the uh, digits here, you can see, right? So what you need to do is you just need to form a, find out a pattern here. So first, let's see, let's say I'm analyzing the unit digits. Okay, let's start from the first set. Okay, so let's start from the first set. I'm taking the unit digits. So you have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, until 9. So some of the digits coming at the unit place in the first set is going to be you are adding 0, 1, 2 until 9, right? It is some of the numbers from 1 to 9. 0 doesn't matter. So it's some of the numbers from 1 to 9, some of n natural numbers. You can use the formula. It's going to be n into n plus 1 by 2 will give you the sum of the first n natural numbers. So here you have first 9 numbers. So it's going to be 9 times n plus 1 is 10 by 2, which will give you 45. So the first set, if I'm considering the first set, the digits coming at the unit place, I'm talking only about the unit place, the sum is equal to 45. So similarly, how many sets you are having? So this is the first set. The second set also, it's the same thing, right? If you analyze the unit digit, I don't need to do this calculation again. It's the same. Third one is also the same. So how many sets are there? See, starting from 10s, 20s, 30s, until 90s, right? So there are nine sets. So all these sets... If I consider the unit digit, the sum is going to be 45 for one individual set. So similarly, there are nine such set. So 45 times nine, which is going to be equal to 54405. That's going to be the, the sum. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to analyze the digits coming at the tens place. Okay, tens place. So let's start from the first set. So you can see one is here. 1, how many ones are there starting from 10, 11, 12 until 19, right? So total there are 10 ones you can see in the first set starting from 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 until 19. So there are 10 numbers. So there are 10 ones in the tens place. So you have 10 times 1. That will be the sum of the digits. 10 ones are there. So he, similarly in the second set, 2 is coming how many times? 10 times. The sum is going to be 10 times 2. So here also it's going to be 10 times 3. And the last set is going to be the sum of the tens place is going to be 9 is coming how many times? 9 times. 10 times. So the total sum of the digits coming at the 10 place is going to be you are adding all these numbers. For the 9 sets you are adding, adding all these numbers. So you're going to have 10 times 1 plus 10 times 2 goes on that until 10 times 9. Right. So you can take 10 common outside. So 10 you're coming, taking common out. So you have 1 plus 2 plus 3 until 9, which already have found that sum of the numbers in the bracket is going to be 45. I'm using this formula. So the total sum is going to be 10 times 45, which is going to be 450. And you have one more uh, number left is 100. So remember, if you uh, forget to take this number, you will make a mistake. Right. So I'm adding all the digits coming here. So it's going to be 405 plus 450 all the digits at the 10 place 450 plus some of the digits in the last number 100 which i didn't include it in any of the sets so i'm adding all the digits just one right zeros doesn't matter so it's only one i'm adding one extra for this 100 so the total sum is going to be 450 plus uh, 405 is uh, 855 plus 1856 is going to be the right answer
So option B is the right answer. So keep in mind, if you actually, if you, if you forget to add this, consider this 100, that means you eventually make a mistake here. See, you can see an answer option, which is 855. So this is a trap. If you don't consider this 100, you will eventually mark the trap answer. So keep that in mind. All the details are very important. So your answer here is 856 is the right answer for this question.